Hello again and welcome to another in our continuing series of Fly the Wing 5-Minute Flight Maneuver videos. This month I'll be demonstrating Lazy 8s. The Lazy 8 is a maneuver designed to develop perfect coordination of controls through a wide range of airspeeds and altitudes. The dive, climb, and turn are all combined. It's the only standard flight training maneuver during which at no time the forces on the controls remain constant. It's not possible to do Lazy 8s mechanically because the control pressures required for perfect coordination are never exactly the same. A Lazy 8 consists of two 180 degree turns in opposite directions while making a climb and a descent in a symmetrical pattern during each of the turns. At no time throughout the Lazy 8 is the airplane flown straight and level. Instead, it's rolled directly from one bank to the other with the wings level only at the moment the turn is reversed at the completion of each 180 degree change in heading. As an aid to making symmetrical loops of the 8 during each turn, prominent reference points should be selected. The maneuver started from level flight with a gradual climbing turn, planned and controlled so that the maximum pitch up attitude is reached at the 45 degree point. As the pitch attitude is raised, the airspeed decreases, causing the rate of turn to increase. Since the bank also is being increased, it too causes the rate of turn to increase. Unless the maneuver is begun with a slow rate of roll, the combination of increasing pitch and increasing bank will cause the rate of turn to be so rapid that the 45 degree reference point will be reached before the highest pitch attitude is attained. Now all of this will make more sense to you when you see the maneuver flown in the airplane. I have the keys, so what do you say we go fly it now? So we're in the practice area now, working on our Lazy 8s today. We've made our clearing turns, emergency landing areas below us. We've done a sweep check and a position report on the radio. So we have our snow-capped mountain off to the north. We've got a lake 90 degrees off our left wing and another big mountain behind us about 20 miles, which we'll use as our reference points. We're well below maneuvering speed in the airplane, stabilized at 4,500 feet. So we'll begin to the left with some gradual bank, staying coordinated bringing the pitch angle up, no more than 30 degrees of bank. It happens too quickly if you start bringing in too much bank angle, and it's a slow, gradual maneuver. At 45 degrees, that's our maximum, maximum pitch up, and as we come through the 90, we let the nose slowly come down. We're not dropping it, we're totally controlling it, and we want the same sight picture below the horizon that we saw above the horizon slowly bringing out the bank angle, airspeed is building, altitude's descending, and as we come around to our mountain off in the distance, we're back to our beginning altitude of 4,500 feet. Immediately go into one to the right, gradual bank angle, pitch comes up, and again the maximum pitch up is going to be at 45 degree point right about there. At 90 degrees, the nose is slowly coming down. We're just above stall speed. Staying coordinated, we need more right rudder. Nose comes down below the horizon. Equidistant to the distance it was above the horizon. And as we come around to our mountain off to the north, slowly bring out the bank angle. Mountain is off to our north. We're back at 4,500 feet and the maneuver is complete. And there it is, the Lazy 8 Maneuver. As you practice Lazy 8s with your instructor, here are a few of the common errors you might want to watch for. Using the nose or top of the engine cowl instead of the true longitudinal axis, which results in unsymmetrical loops. Watching the airplane instead of the reference points is a common error. Inadequate planning resulting in the peaks of the loops, both above and below the horizon, not coming in the proper place. Control roughness usually caused by attempts to counteract poor planning. Persistent gain or loss of altitude with the completion of each eight. Attempting to perform the maneuver rhythmically resulting in poor pattern symmetry. And allowing the airplane to fall out of the tops of the loops rather than flying the airplane through the maneuvers, another common error. Also, of course, slipping and skidding during the maneuver, not staying coordinated is a problem. And there you have it, Lazy 8s. Go out and practice them with your instructor, and I'll see you next month for another Fly the Wing 5-Minute Flight Maneuver video.